Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It's Garland here bringing you another Terra video. Uh, today I'm going to be going over some of the basics about crafting in Terra that should help you understand which crafting professions to choose, how to get started with crafting, and how to obtain the materials, designs, and more. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. In Terra there are four total professions. Weaponsmithing, Armorsmithing, Alchemy, and Etching. On console, you simply go to your character, and go to crafting, and you can see all four listed here at the top. Now please note that you can only have one of these mastered per character, uh, but you can level all of these up to 500 if you choose. So for instance, on screen you're seeing that my armor crafting is at skill level 800. I cannot go to skill 500 on weapon crafting, alchemy, or etching. I can't, I can't go to Artisan. I can get these to level 500, which will let me do some basic things, but I can't continue uh, with the Artisan test. Gathering and crafting in Terra requires production points. Each time you attempt to gather or craft, you're going to spend a specific amount of production points. Each player has 4,000 production points that is account wide. You can notice this in the bottom right hand of my screen right now. I'm currently maxed out with 4,000 out of 4,000. You're going to regain one production point every minute of real time, whether you are online or offline. So basically, guys, you can gain 60 production points every hour or 1,440 production points in a 24-hour period. So it's going to basically take a little under three days to recover full production points if you're at zero. Once you reach zero production points, obviously you're not able to make anything and you're going to have to sit there and wait for your production points to regenerate. Or you can get a crafting potion. The crafting potion is going to instantly restore 1000 production points. If you have elite status, you should be getting one of these every single day. Now, you're asking yourself, how do I start crafting? To start crafting anything in the game, first of all, you're going to need a recipe. The materials in the recipe, as well as a sufficient amount of production points to craft the item. Different items in the game are going to require different recipes, materials, and may cost different amounts of production points. Crafting stations are found in every major city, Velkia, Alamanthia, Kator, and Highwatch. You can currently see that we are in Highwatch right now. And in the upper left hand corner where it says Bazaar is going to be where the crafting location is. At these stations, you're going to be able to find the crafting formulas, crafting materials, as well as the crafting workbench. Uh, however, note on console right now that the workbenches are bugged. You can just open the crafting menu anywhere and use it, thus making the, work the workbenches redundant anyway. So if we go ahead and open this, oh, it looks like maybe they actually fixed it. So either way, they're most likely, like I said, redundant as you can do crafting anywhere. Before, when you used to go to these workbenches, you were able to click on it, but then it would boot you out of the menu. So it looks like they have resolved the problems with it. Shame on me for not testing it before making this video. Kappa Kappa. Now let's go ahead and talk about the recipes very quickly. As I mentioned earlier, you can go and it says armor crafting designs. And most lower level recipes do drop here. All the recipes that you're going to need to level up your crafting is going to be uh, in the vendor. Now some of the rare ven some of the rare recipes are going to drop in dungeons. But most of the basic stuff is already going to be here, guys. Also, your mm -hmm. materials most people don't know that basic materials are here. Dawnhide, Greenhide, all of the hides are actually sold from the vendor. A lot of people have been selling these off the broker for about 500 times the price, aka me. 
So yes, I'm finally leaking that secret. Now that we are doing this video, the game's coming up on a month being old. Yippee skippy. Uh, I was buying these for one silver and 48 copper each, and I was selling them upwards of two to three gold a pop. So, yeah. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, guys. I'm still getting over sick. So, yeah. Please note, if you were watching this video, you can buy hides off the vendor as well as common runes, guys. Please note that. Please. There are three tiers of professiony, or professiony, proficiency I'm sorry, for every profession. Basic, artisan, and master. As I mentioned before earlier in the video, you can only master one of these professions per character, guys. You need 500 skill in basic to achieve the test to rank up to artisan. And then you are also going to need 800 skill to rank up to master. So if we go back into mine very quickly, you can see that I am artisan and my skill is 800. And I am currently working on my master test, which I should be able to finish very soon. So basically, guys, this is just an introduction to crafting. It's fairly easy to wrap it up. The professions in Terra also need one another to work. So an example of this is that alchemy can make oils that are used in weaponsmithing. Armor smithing can make oils that are used in etching. This is why it's ideal for you to master all four professions on four different characters. Otherwise, you're going to have to rely on other players or the broker to buy the high-end materials. It's always better to be self-efficient. If you want to put in the time, the work, and the dedication to get four mastery characters, you're going to make a lot more money in the long run because you are not going to have to rely on other players to buy your materials from. A basic example of this is if we go ahead and look at my armor and we go to Artisan in the Adderstad oil. So armor smithing makes Adderstad oil, which is used in etching. So if we go over to etching, well, I don't know what it's used in etching for, but I, there it is. The armor etching, yeah. Aristotle oil. So if I was to make tier twos, uh, I would need Artistoid oil. So if I am an etcher, I have to rely on an armor smith to make the oils that I need. And vice versa. There's also items in weapon smithing as far as oils, etc. You guys get the picture. So like I said, this is just a basic introduction to the crafting system i've been getting a lot of questions about putting this video out so now it is out so now you guys can start crafting i also get the same question of well which one is the best you know someone always has to ask which one is the best uh, i don't like to to rank the professions because they're all needed in the game however Early in the game's life cycle, etching is going to probably pay out the most if you can pump out some permanent etchings, either tier 2s or especially tier 3 permanent etchings. Those are going to fetch you a lot of money. But at the same time, as I mentioned, you want to have all professions at, you know, maxed out, one per character. Um, that way you're not relying on anyone, you're making all the profit yourself. Uh, and you're going to make a lot of money regardless. You can make money just selling, you know, mining materials and gathering materials. The very basic stuff because people are going to be leveling up their professions. So they're going to need those materials. For instance, if we jump back in here and we do go to armor. And let's say you're brand new to the game. You're going to come down here to refining. And the first one that you're going to make is Zer Metal. So to make these Zer still ingots you need the zer metal ore well if you want to make a little bit of money all you got to do is go out there farm some zer metal ore and toss it on the proker because someone that's lazy that doesn't want to waste their personal production points because they want to use their production points to actually level up their craft they're going to buy your zer metal ore if it's fairly priced off the broker rather than go and farm it themselves so you know 
there's money to be made even at the lowest of levels. So hopefully you enjoyed this small introduction video, guys. Like I said, this isn't a major tutorial on that. We will be having videos on each specific uh, profession and leveling it up in the fastest way to level it up. But this is just a basic introduction video to the professions in Terra. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Please leave me a comment below if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next one.